Thank you. Well, tonight we are answering your questions about this chemical in question here and the health risks that are coming from breathing it in. What exactly is ethylene oxide and why is it so concerning? According to the National Cancer Institute, at room temperature, it's a flammable, colorless gas with a sweet odor, mostly used to create other chemicals, including antifreeze. But while it's helpful in that production, according to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, it can also lead to physical and health hazards. For example, respiratory irritation and lung injury, as well as headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, shortness of breath, and skin turning blue. Chronic exposure can cause reproductive effects, changes or damage to DNA and can impact learning and the functions of the central and peripheral nervous system. But there's also an association with cancer. The NCI says it's also been commonly linked with lymphoma and leukemia, but stomach and breast cancers could also come from exposure as well. And according to the Georgia Comprehensive Cancer Registry, at least one of the cancers tied to ethylene oxide, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, has risen significantly over the last decade, especially among men. This is in the 30014 zip code around the sterilizing plant in Covington. Make sure you download the 11 Live News app to read the entire WebD, uh, WebMD article. It's in the As Seen on TV section.